these motor mounts guys when you do an ls swap for one of these trucks it is going to be one of the hardest things to get to so i recommend dropping the a's the a arms the control arms but you can try and do it with some um, extensions and some swivels but Okay, day two. Let's get these old motor mounts out. And uh, T-Dubs brought me back some oatmeal. Thanks, T-Dubs. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's unload some toys. Bringing all the stuff down here because now I can't use the bed of this anymore. We'll still use it for storage, though. Well, let's put this up here. How'd you sleep last night? Sleep good? All right, V6. Gotta get all this grime off that cross member, clean it up a bit. All right, clean up this little, how many batteries do you think this thing's had since 97? Okay, let's get this stuff out of here. Okay, so day two, got a couple little miscellaneous hardware items that I was missing, like the uh, oil pickup tube. I was missing the uh, bolt to put it in, so I went to the store, got that. He got the Civic worked and fixed today. It was a bad starter, brand new starter that was bad. So it would click, uh, start three times and then stop working. But anyways, he's got that fixed. So he's in high spirits. These motor mounts, these V6 motor mounts, my goodness, the back side of these bolts, there's a nut and you can't get to it. You have to use a bunch of swivels and Cool Cars KJ is a guy that I've learned a lot of stuff from and uh, check out his YouTube page too. Uh, cool Cars KJ, awesome guy. Uh, cars is spelled with a K. Anyways. Um, to get to the back side of those nuts, you can use a bunch of swivels and extensions and stuff and try and keep it on there as you hit the front. Or you can take off the entire A-arm. So we're gonna go that route because it's much easier to get to everything. Plus when you put them back in, you have to hold the nut back on there when the bolt goes through. So here we go. Let's start taking some A-arms out. Okay, so changing the motor mounts is not easy at all, guys. I had to take off the tie rod torsion bar oh my goodness in the upper ball joint just to get the spindle to drop so i can get these bolts out because the only way to get to the bottom of the uh motor mounts is through this hole you can use a bunch of extensions swivels and all that but just even getting the bolts back on when you put the new ones on oh my goodness it's just worth it to take them apart so i'm on hour number two just getting these off guys so Lots of work changing these motor mounts, but it'll be worth it once we get the new ones in. Let's keep rolling. So now with the A-arm out of the way, you can see how much easier it is to get to the back side of these bolts. But, my goodness. And there's another one back in here. So there's four of them back in here without um, taking that off. Yikes, plus you have to have somebody up top to, um, hit it with the uh, impact so let's get these out an hour and a half an hour later they're both loose now i just need him he's got to go get a haircut to uh, hit those top bolts while i hold the bottom not easy though guys but easier to get to these back side of these bolts right here those two and there's two more you can't see on the other side um, if you have those a-arms out so we did that and uh t-dubs just dropped us off a sandwich. So we're gonna eat, hit the park for a little bit, and then uh, hopefully get the mounts in and uh, get the transmission made it to the LS1. Maybe by the night, get it in there. Uh, just at least bolt it into the motor mounts, but that's being optimistic. We're just trying to get the mounts, motor mounts in first right now. And those are the new bolts for them. Those are the mounts. And that's the new uh, bracket kit we're gonna use. Flywheel and a clutch. All kinds of stuff. And we're not 100% sure these are long tubes are going to work. We might have to go shorties. We will see, though, once we get in there. Break time for now. We're going to go to the park for a little bit with the boys. Come back and switch out those motor mounts. And hopefully get that LS1 mounted to the transmission. We'll see. We also got to go put the uh, oil pack gasket on. And uh, oil pickup. Let's take a little walk. Home sweet home in the yard, guys, here. How you doing, bud? Finally getting the yard uh, trimmed up. It's been been bad for a while. <clears throat> hey, that sandwich is amazing, dude. Thank you. Let's 
uh, he's gonna mulch also, so get rid of all the weeds, trim down the bushes. Gonna look pretty. Oh yeah, happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> okay. Park time. We're waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Oh, uh, you drive the truck, baby. Brother uh, Kason's gonna drive the golf cart. Little choke. Yeah, little choke. There you go. Good job, Bubba. Keep going a little further. A little further. Wow. Did brother pull out the golf cart? There you go, Case. Good job. Right there. Good job, dude. Stay close. Yeah, we're going to go to the park for a little bit. It's a beautiful day. Can you turn the stereo on, please? Flip the switch. Flip the switch forward underneath right there. The switch by the horn, Bubba. No, the switch by the horn, remember? Yeah, push that. There you go. Yep. Yes, Kylan. We got to get brother and my, uh, brother Cash and Mama. All right, let's see the park, guys. Beautiful day. Man, those motor mounts. Who would have thought that just two motor mounts would take half a day? <sighs> That's the price of uh, LS1 swapping. Stay on the right side, okay? Hi, Kyla. Park time. Get much better. Ah, beautiful day at the park. All right, right, guys. Uncle Kyle came into town just in time for me to use him <laughs> to hold the other side. I told him I get under there, but he's like, "No, I'm doing this." So uh, we have to hit the impact on the top all side. Right, all right, all we right. got three we got out of four it. out. We're we going it. for number four. All right. Got it. That's out. She's free. <laughs> oh, there's no way you're doing that without another person. So, if you try to take, thank you, Uncle Kyle. <laughs> this is uh, T Dub's older brother right here. Came into town. And that is it, guys. That's how you get the V6 mounts off. And now we got to put our uh, special ones we bought back on. But we're going to tackle this side first. And there's pretty much impossible, no way to do this without taking these control arms off, guys. So, I mean, you can do it. Cool Cars KJ does it, but this is pretty much the only way to do it. So, here we go. And we're going to put those ones on. Next, and look who made it down the street. Mrs. LS1's waiting. Okay, so let's see. just figured something else out, guys. There's four on this side, four bolts and nuts. There's three on this side. We already had these two. Where is it? There's one more way back in here. It's like okay. between. So, yeah, no, no. Oh, it's up inside. Yeah, it's inside. So you gotta reach in there. I don't know how you would get to that without taking this A-arm out. So, just so you guys know, three on this side, which is passenger side four on driver's side okay and once you get those out your new ones one on the top two on the bottom use the factory nuts with these lock washers to get on the back side torque them down okay guys without uncle kyle over here this was not happening not happening at all these motor mounts guys when you do an ls swap for one of these trucks it is going to be one of the hardest things to get to so i recommend dropping the a's the a arms the uh, control arms but you can try and do it with some um, extensions and some swivels but like this last bolt inside of here i don't understand how you'd even get to that so motor mounts are in we're ready for this bad boy now we got to get the transmission off get the new uh, flywheel and the clutch on let's do it all right with the help of uncle kyle she's free the nv3500 is on the ground all right now we're gonna drop this motor pick up that motor and um get this one on the on the on the stand all right let's get to work that's cool now we need to we don't need this clutch anymore or this flywheel we're going to put a new one on the ls1 so this will all go with the motor i think someone's already coming to get it thanks a lot uncle kyle Hey, there you go so i'm gonna go buy new shocks and one of the brake pads had actually broken off and i always had some squeaking going on and that was definitely the problem the whole brake pad had shifted so we're going to get new pads and new shocks. Let's go get them. Auto zone. Thank you for being open. New pads. Oh, it's like the middle of the line. And uh, some new, new shocks. Might as well. If I'm putting them back together, why not buy new stuff, right? So, there we go. 
let's go put the suspension back together that we had to take apart simply because of the uh, motor mounts. Mm. All right. That was fun driving the Ram, though. I love driving this truck. Let's get back to over there. Okay, guys, what a day. The V6 is out. Flywheel and clutch are waiting. Um, you might be wondering why I have bread sitting right here. I believe I have to get this bearing out, but I'm waiting for Brandon to get back from the uh, birthday party, just to be sure. Um, but these motor mounts are finally in. And one out of two is back together. We went ahead and replaced the brakes. Brand new brakes. Brand new shock in the middle. So uh, now on to the other side. Whew, not that easy, but not that hard. Just time consuming and taking your time. <sighs> Let's put all this back together. All right, guys. So we got the LS1 here. And we have our suspension all back together. New brakes, new shocks. I'm about to go live. Looks like I have some cool war paint here. Brandon is, uh, I guess there's some kind of bread trick that we use to get this out. Never heard of it until I watched YouTube. But uh, his daughter came out and said, hey, are you making sandwiches? I said, no. <laughs> Trying to get this out of the middle. God bless you. If you wonder what the heck this is about, what we do, uh, this is just trucking dot shop we're giving away 97 silverado on december second week of december oh and here's t-dubs yeah no i'm just making the end of this video t-dubs coming over because we're gonna go live right now easter say hi to you guys and easter bunny it up uh, but yeah a lot more than i figured but we have new suspension now so and new brakes god bless you see you tomorrow so you ground it out here <laughs> yeah i ground the groove in it and then broke it in a couple pieces okay better than the bread idea so we, so we didn't make sandwiches. Uh, now we have to figure out which one goes in there because they gave us two of them. We have this one and we have that one. So yeah, uh, I wasn't even paying attention to what the heck Brandon was doing. He's the mastermind. And he's the only reason I'm having the confidence to do this on my own because without him, <laughs> I would just tell T-Dubs, let's throw it away. No, I'm just joking. God bless you guys. And uh, yeah, groove it like you did. Like that, break it apart and it pulls out easy instead of using the... We did try the bread out, bread method though. Yeah, all right, see you tomorrow guys. Hopefully this thing goes in the truck sooner than later. Okay guys, so we did get it in there. Pilot bearing, got the new flywheel on and the new flywheel bolts. Making progress, line up the clutch. <sighs> Goodness, sorry, I had one more video to add to it. And then we'll get the pilot bearing on there and line it up. Exciting, mating them up.